Right, so good evening or good morning guys. Uh, well, we are here to actually assist you in actually building property a gamma tank. So um, basically what you can observe is you can build a gamma tank in less than a minute with the um, build guide being produced by Budsworth. So basically I'll just um, show you a build for both a cotton and an SS mesh build uh, without really taking out your coil due to um, the SS or the stainless steel build guide made by Buttsworks. Well, we're now here to actually show you the parts first uh, on what you need to build your gamma tank. Of course, number one, we need your gamma tank. The, pir the pirates, okay, it's either your pirate sleeve or your SS sleeve. And then, of course, your Allen wrench. That is part of um, unscrewing the screws on top of your gamma tank. There you go. And especially, uh, most important of all, your build guide. There you go. We have your build guide there. Okay. And then we have your um, SS mesh, your tweezers, um, your plies, your small plies, and of course a scissor for you to be able to cut your cantal. And then next would be a point forty cantal uh, from Mayora, and then your mod. Okay, and don't forget of course uh, a juice by Custom Mix, uh, strawberry banana. And then uh, lastly, of course, we also have the cotton, your Mia drip tip, and of course your AFC. And of course, this video is partly um, brought to you by uh, Vapors Pass. Alright, so we'll start with the build. So, okay, so we will be uh, holding on to your uh, gamma tank and then securing it properly to the mod. Okay, as you can see, I'll zoom into that slowly. And actually, this is a limited edition uh, gamma tank made by Bud's Works. Okay. So unscrew, we will be unscrewing or ensuring that the mod is locked so we wouldn't want to have any hazard of it auto-firing and actually um, burning your hands when you are building the coils. Alright, so then uh, we will be unscrewing the top positive and negative poles to ensure that we can um, push in the cantal wire, the .40 cantal wire. We will building uh, a bit of like a 0.6 ohm, but sadly we don't have an ohm checker, uh, but uh, hopefully it's, it's 0.6. Bear with me here, guys. So there you go. So we have the Cantal wire. We'll just slip it through the hole of the positive pole and then securing it and locking it tightly with uh, the Allen screw and the Allen wrench that is part of the unit. There you go. So you can pull it lightly so that it, it's uh, to ensure that it's properly locked and then of course we will be grabbing the most important um, build guide and you will be actually plug it in or shooting it inside the juice well there you go and then you will wrap around the coils in the build guide so we will be wrapping roughly around five coils so that it can show roughly around 0.6 ohm. So we will be sub owning sub ohming rather the gamma tank. There you go. So one, two, three. Okay. So it's nicely secured there. I will be cutting down the mesh. Okay, as you can see there, it's now properly cut, and then we will be Slipping it through the negative pole and pulling it with a tweezer or a small plier, either of which can be used to actually pull it out, pull it in rather. And once it's already secured, so we will pull it in properly with a tweezer or a small pliers and then locking it in, in place in the negative pole. So pretty much you can build your, your usual build, like of which, as you can see there. Or you can do a micro coil using the 
uh, build guy. As you can see, this is just a normal 5 loop build. Okay? Then we will be cutting the excess cantal or of course, uh, if you're OC, we will be ensuring that everything is aligned properly. Okay? So now, we will be taking out one second. Uh, I'm just having problems with focus. Okay, uh, we are now focusing properly in the mod one second. I think it's too near. There you go. So it's now securely in the mod, on the mod, the coils. So we will be firing it now to ensure that it doesn't have a hot spot. Okay, first, and then we'll do a side view of it so that you'll see. That's how strong uh, the firing is with the gamma tank. And there you go. So we'll plug in first. I think uh, you guys will be excited. It's either we'll plug in first, actually, the SS mesh. So it's as easy as shooting in the mesh through the coils. And there you go. One second, and then we will be firing that. There you go. So no hot spots. Uh, it's as easy in less than a minute, so you'll be able to build either a mesh, as you can see, or you can pull it out. Don't forget your tweezers, guys. It's a bit hot. And then waiting for it to cool down for a bit prior to actually plugging in your cotton. Okay. Now we will be plugging in the cotton. Okay, there you go. Slowly but surely there. We don't want to burn our fingers. Okay. Now it down goes it in the small hole. There you go. Uh-huh. And then wrapping the cotton right around the center pole so that you have maximum juicing capability from the cotton. So that it can also wick properly. There you go. Fix it on top as well so that it won't fall within the coil. And then we will be slowly and surely plugging in the Pyrex. There you go. And now it's in. Uh, there you go. And then we will be putting in the juice on the other juice well. Next video guys, we will be see, showing you on how to build a dual coil in less than two minutes. There you go, so we're plugging in the juice now in the juice hole. There you go. Put some juice as well in the coil on top. Right in between the positive and negative poles to ensure that it is properly lubricated. Okay, and then one second, so we are going to let it wick for a while. And then we will fire. There you go. Uh, let's see how it vapes. Okay. Alright, so plugging in the AFC control plus the MIA. And there you go. We will see how it vapes. There you go. Pure vaping pleasure, as simple as less than two minute build. It has your vapor production and your flavor all in one. This is brought to you by um, Vapors Pass and most especially by Bud's Works. Thank you and have a great day or night ahead of you.